happy Tuesday. Hello, hello. It is Angel. Thank you for tuning in to my morning YouTube channel. I am forever grateful to have subscribers and viewers who faithfully have been following my channel. It is new for me. And I thank you for all of you that are supporting me um, and watching my uh, viewing my channel as I am always encouraged and feel inspired to give inspiration and to give encouragement. And I want to speak on this morning about practicing what you preach, um, which is me. Um, I'm very transparent in, in what I speak about. I won't talk about anything I have not experienced. Um, I am a student of life uh, with many experiences. Um, I won't tell you my age as far as my experiences of life, but I will not talk about anything that I have not experienced. I will not talk about anything that I've heard. It would ha only be by experience. And I would say to you that I, I, you know, when I listen to other speakers and people who are filled with inspiration and, and, and the word of God, because it has to be sound doctrine. It has to be lined up with the word of God. And, um, God has allowed me to just know when I hear a person speak, to know that they are speaking the true, the truth. They are speaking about this, um, um, the sound doctrine the, and, and they are in the right context. Um, but what I'm, what I would like to say is practice what you preach. Um, meaning that do not talk about or preach about or speak about something that um, you're not applying to your life or, or you're not doing. You know, don't tell someone to do something if you haven't applied it to your life. I can't tell you, you know, as as a as someone that is is here on this channel, I'm not going to waste your time and tell you something that I don't really know. I have to have some experience at it. You know, there has to be some level of ex of experience, and and I'm also not going to tell you anything if I'm not going to apply it to my daily life and to my you know, everyday worship or everyday prayer. You know, I'm not going to tell you to pray if I'm not praying. I'm not going to tell you to read the Bible, the word, if I'm not reading it. You know, I'm not, I have to give my, my experiences through my transparent story. And that is why I felt, you know, God has, uh, is leading me to write a book right now. And it's, it's very transparent. It's about my life, but it's a, it's a, it's from a healed place in my, in my life. It's from a healed place and not a broken place. And, 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 and so I'm not going to tell someone to, to, to go out and, and, and fulfill your purpose in life if I'm not doing it, you know, you, and, and especially when it's challenging and it's really hard, it's easier. Things are easier said than done. We, you know, we see that all the time, but I'm not going to tell you to do something if I'm not doing it. I've, I've mentioned before, fulfill the purpose and the gifts and the talents that God has given you but I'm not going to tell you to do it if I'm not doing it you know I'm not going to tell you you know um don't do this or, or or think positive if I'm not thinking positive you know and I always say I'm not perfect I always say that I'm never going to always make it seem like I know everything because I don't when you get to the point where you know everything in life can nobody tell you nothing? You cannot learn anything. You're not even coachable or teachable because you know too much. You're not even hum able to humble yourself to learn from others because you got too much, maybe too much pride. Maybe you feel like you got too much pride that, you know, I know more. You know, some people are, are got issues where they can't even learn from children. Children can teach you something nowadays. This new generation of kids with this... They, they are born into technology. They are born into this new era. Sometimes I have to rely on my daughters to help me with things that I'm still struggling with as far as technology, you know? So things are changing, things are evolving. And, and if you can't even learn from children, then you haven't even been able to humble yourself. You, you, you're too, you got too much pride. Kids, kids are, these kids nowadays are smart. These kids nowadays are very intelligent. And they can teach you something or two. But my my message today is practice what you preach. Don't go around telling folks what they need to do and to, and to have faith. And you're not having faith. And you're, and you're living in doubt or you're talking doubt. 
or you're or you're talking negative, but you're telling people, oh, live by faith. You know, practice what you preach. Don't don't become a minister and preacher if you're not even applying the same principles and the same teachings in your life. Don't get up on the platform and tell people to forgive one another and you have you still have hurt, you know, pain and, and, and forget unforgiveness in your heart. You know, to allow people to know that I am going to, I have an issue to for, forgive. Be transparent, be open, be real with people, be authentic. That's how I am. I got to be real with, you know, I just can't come here and, and, and not be real with you. I'm, I have to be very authentic with who I am and with who, and who I speak to. And so I'm not going to say something that I'm not applying to my life. So once again, don't practice what, I mean, practice what you preach. Don't get on there saying things and you're not even doing it. You know, it just doesn't, it's not real. It's not real. How can I learn something from you? And how could you learn something from me? If you haven't even experienced it or if you're not going through it, what can you tell me? What you got to show me or tell me how you overcame that issue, that situation for you to tell me to get through it, to be, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Well, 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 I know that God is good. I know God is a healer. I know that God is a comforter. I know that God provides, you know, supplies all our needs. I know he's a provider. I know God can do everything that he said he'll do and even more but how did he do it for you everybody has their own story i'm not telling you to tell your story i'm just telling you if you feel the urgency or the or the leading to speak and preach on whatever it is that you want to speak on make sure that you are living up to what you're preaching and speaking on that's what i'm saying that's all i'm saying all right. Well, you know what? You be blessed. I'm about to go. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it, it be, it's pleasant, prosperous, productive, and peaceful. May God be with you, and may you have a blessed week. Love you.